<laughs> Welcome to the evolution meeting on May 3rd, 2022. Um, up for discussion first is the revisiting of metrics and those issues. So I'll share my, uh, my screen here. Make it a little bit smaller for those living a laptop life right now. And so these are, this is an example of an issue that was open. And Bernard, you were saying that um, the important Kevin, thing is to, Kevin, you said the important thing is to make sure the GitHub location is there. That always has to be there. Yeah. Yes. Like and that I, always has to be there. And I suggest we also add the link where we are doing the work of Google Doc. We need to keep both the links over there. That's so it, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Uh, yep. So adding the Google Doc link to it is fine. Yep. However, it wouldn't always have a Google Doc link because we're not always doing the work in a Google Doc. So uh, a lot of these, a lot of these revisits are going to be done directly with pull requests if they're minor. Uh, when you're, and then when you're, when you're creating a metric originally, uh, when you create this issue, you're doing that in conjunction with creating the pull request uh, for to to create the new markdown file, right? So that new markdown file becomes the the default most important place where work is being done. Right. Uh, the only reason to in, go back to the Google Doc is if for some reason we are abandoning this markdown page. Uh, I, so, uh, so, so, my, so to put that, oh, go ahead, Rodan. My thought is like, if there is a metric which needs a like complete revision or something and where we are creating a Google Doc, then we can have an optional link, not like uh, we can keep it as a Google, if creating a Google Doc as an option and then having that link over there in the session. Yeah, and I and I agree with that. If there if there is some reason that we've decided yeah. to move the work to a Google Doc, uh, yep. add that link in. Yep. Uh, but that's not that that shouldn't be the default link. It yes. should be the that's it the that's down, not yeah. going to happen as often. So it's a yeah. the the one that we really need need to make sure we have is that markdown yep. file. But yes, if if we need to add the Google Doc, add it. Yep. And the same with the website. If you want to add the website link to it, that can help too. Yeah. Uh, but once again, that's kind of optional as well. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but the one that the one that really needs to be there is the markdown. I'm just looking at. Uh, I have an old version of a fork. So old, in fact, I may need to um, delete it and start over. Yeah, I don't even have the main branch, so I just I was just going to demonstrate um, how you would go about doing this. So, for example, if um, first I have to delete my existing repository because my fork is um, so stale that it doesn't have the right branches in it. I just want to apologize from me. I was supposed to make like close out all those old issues and make new issues for the ones that just need like minor revisions. And I have not done that yet. So my apologies. I'm sorry, everybody. My fault. So, so the, um, so all those that say revisiting metrics down below, those are all yeah. the old issues. Cause that's what we originally were going to do is just, open yeah. up old issues. Uh, so that's not what we're doing now. No, we're creating no. new issues. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. These needs to be closed and linked to the new one. Okay. I didn't. I didn't know that either. Was that? that was like, that discussed? It seems at? like a lot of work. <laughs> don't don't yeah. close them yet, because I will do that. But yeah, when I went through all of the evolution metrics, and granted, a lot of these are older, so a lot of them will require. Um, some of them do require rewrites, but not all. So. I mean, yeah. do you say something about that in the text though? Did you edit the text? I did. Um, so just le leave them. I mean, we can figure this out. <laughs> it's not going to follow the other process of the other working groups, though. I feel bad. Well, I mean, I think so, twelve. There's twelve issues, and these are metrics that need to be released. I don't think you need to so, go through the trouble of copying and pasting. These is my are, opinion. 
these were the issues that were previously linked to those metrics. Yeah, I know. And, yeah, so. I mean, I can get where it would be optimal, but since the work is done, I don't <laughs> see the need to redo the work, in my opinion. I mean. But I didn't add like the nice checklist and all of that stuff. For, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's. So I just made random comments on, well, not random, but I made but comments. You, were, on. <laughs> you so. were an early creator of these, though. You were out front. And so I don't. If you want to add the checklist to the old issues, we can figure out how to navigate to the revisiting metric tag. Like, I don't think that's a problem. I can see updating the checklist because that checklist is pretty helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll try to do that today, though. I'll clean. I'll clean it all up. Yeah, I mean, do what you want to do. Because, but creating, closing issues, and opening new ones, I don't know. It seems like a lot more work than just adding the text to the current ones, but it's up to you. I I agree. So, and I'm, I'm I mean, also, I'm also really, where are all these discussions happening? I feel, I feel like I'm missing half of the conversation. Yeah, I mean. A while ago, yeah, I don't remember now. I, I don't, I didn't get that um, edict. The last edict I had was to reopen the old issues, so. Um, yep. But this was like old issues has so many conversation and we are just revisiting. That's where that came up that we have a new checklist at the top rather than at the bottom. So, yeah, I mean. So now if you want a checklist, you are going at the very bottom rather than at the start of this. So I can't I can't find one, of course, like off the top of my head. But let me see if I can. Code, OK, code changes lines. Um, this is one that we actually have changed the name of. Um, yeah, I guess all the, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't think it's, I don't know. I, Elizabeth, do what you want, but I, I mean, these old comments can potentially be useful yep. to understand how the metric got to be the way that it is. Um, that I like, think in the in the new uh, issue that we are creating, uh, there is a link to that old issue also in that. Yeah, well, and and um, I can I know what's wrong with this one right away because we changed all of our primary branches to the name main. So then if I open that, oh. oops. So, was this was this a name change as well? Uh, yeah, probably. So uh, we, what did it change yeah. to? Yeah, uh, uh, I think we included the word commit in it. Ah, yeah. Um, code development activity change. Let's see. Code changes lines. Code changes commits. Yeah. And we just updated this 23 days ago. And we updated change request commits 16 days ago. So we've we've included like I guess this is from the latest release probably. Um, these merges. So cone change commits. This is the one that we just need to go back and look at, for example. And I guess the only reason that we would need to know what Elizabeth is going to do with regards to opening new issues or old issues is one of the things that other working groups are going to do, which I was going to recommend, is you can go into the issues that are um, revisiting metrics and you can put your name by them. But if you're going to um, if you're gonna, I guess Elizabeth, uh, what's the, I have stated my opinion, but where is the consensus about new issues versus leaving these the way they are? Vinod definitely wants to have new issues. Kevin, do you have a? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of with the, I like the idea of having a continuous record. So I, I like I like reopening, yep. reopening I, the old issues so that we have the the continuous record of all the revisions and. Yeah. I'm also in favor of reopening the old. This was what I was told when I was doing it, proposing it. Like the suggestion is, there are so many comments. We don't want to go at the very bottom. We just want to have a revision at the top and checklist at the top. So that's why we are creating new one. I was like, okay. <laughs> I, yeah, and I guess I, I do get that for a lot of working groups. I think I would say for evolution, because there was a lot of debate around some of these yeah. around the or original release time that if there's any 
um, discussion or comments on them, those would be worth looking at. Um, so I would say keep them the same issues for our working group. Uh, can we hide <laughs> comments? Uh, probably you not. Know, in an issue? A lot. Click, yeah. yeah. Hide, yes you can. Choose a reason. <laughs> I don't have a reason. Uh, there might be a reason. No. Why are you uh, hiding outdated. it from the... Outdated. Updated, yeah. Outdated. Yeah. Comment. Yeah, so they're still there, and then you can show the comments. So the record is still there. Maybe this maybe this would be a better Yeah. I'd rather do this. So now you have to more do more clicks of hiding every sure. comment. It's still a lot less work than recreating the old issue. Oops, cancel. This also gives you the ability to keep comments that are still relevant. So I would then propose bring it to the community call so that we can adopt it. Everywhere. Well, I think I think for different working groups, it might be different. I don't think it yeah. has. I think for our working group our we have the longest history in evolution yeah. and there, there were um, there were debates about what a commit is. And some of those <laughs> debates may be captured in the issues that originally were used or the pull requests that we can reference in the commit history. So, I mean, the only thing is, I it looks like we will need to update the link to what actually the metric is today. Um, because some change of, the name of the yeah, the, yeah, I change mean, the name of the uh, the issue as well, right? Mostly in code changes related ones if we changed things I don't think in the other ones we have yeah just update it so that the information all matches yeah like um inactive contributors I, I'm guessing oops I clicked on the wrong thing so okay I don't know but issues active I'm guessing yeah, well, I'm guessing that this one hasn't changed except for the branch name. No, nope, something's changed. So I guess a lot of our links are dead. We'll have to update them. Uh, oh, the underscore in issues active. It should be a dash now. Uh, is that the is that a style change from the original? I guess. Yep. All right, what in the heck? Chaos, blob, main metrics, issues active. Oh, the metrics path isn't there, it's focus areas now. Oh yeah, this is old. I guess it's kind of up to you, Elizabeth, if you want to go and update these links or just create brand new issues. <laughs> So if we're if we're dropping that checklist template in at the top of that checklist is the there should be text that says that uh, we're we're either doing a release or we're doing a review so so that could just be updated in the checklist right rather than back all the way to the beginning I can just open new issues it's totally fine it's totally fine and then we're I'm cool with whatever is easier for you I think will be fine. I mean, I can see we're at the point where now we have to look at all of the, whoa, I used just did something cool on the screen that I saw. He's able to like mark something on the page. Oh, but it's probably a Zoom feature, not a GitHub feature. How'd you do that, I guess? Yes, it's Zoom feature. I was just, you know, seeing what is this icon on, the, on my screen and that just, you know, tap on it and it just happened. She's active. All right. I'm just like doing a proof of concept here. But we can edit this and it will work because I haven't seen that happen yet. All right. That worked. So that one's up to date now. And it's um, focus areas instead of metrics. And then there's another subdirectory for issue resolution. So 
we have reorganized. And so some of those, those links, it's up to you if you want to just create new issues, because at that point it almost becomes the same amount of work, but we don't care. <laughs> Okay, I'll just open new issues then. That's fine. And then it's consistent with the other working groups and we can yeah. still mark some as good first issue if they're just minor changes. Yeah. So whereas like when I was reopening them, some of them were just minor. So I can now differentiate. Yeah. That sounds good. All right. Um, and so when those are open, uh, probably at our next meeting, we'll go through the assignment of issues. Um, well, there was a bunch of text in there and now it's gone. Okay. So the, I think the optimal is for the ones that require minor revisions is to just create a fork of the repository, make the minor revisions and propose a pull request. And then we can comment on that pull request. Um, Uh, those the ones we would like to keep as like good first issues for people. I think that's what the other. Yeah, doing. yeah. Okay. I think that's basically uh, major issues, major issues, I guess. Um, there's no separate tag for major issues, right? No, there is not. So how should I flag the ones that we need to look at in the group? Um, let me go into issues and see if we have an existing tag that would serve that purpose. <clears throat> uh, we had the labels good first issue or something, no? Yeah, good first, good first, good first, you, first issue. You could, I, I, it smells like teen spirit. <laughs> um, I, so I, Put that I, in there. What? I don't know. I, that sounds like me. I'll be honest. It just sounds like <laughs> something I would have created. Oh okay, we'll use that tag for that will be the label for something for that needs major, major work. Yeah, smells like teen spirit needs major work. <laughs> All right, and then just use for the ones that don't use um, the good, I think good first, first issue is an excellent tag for that. Um, should probably take a peek at issues. Convert metric to model. Okay, yeah. So is metric create the review issue? So did we add? I'm getting, so when you create a new um, a issue, confused. there's a template now for this metric. That metric was not released. So oh. the title of the issue was the title of the issue was changed to so, convert the title of the issue is changed from uh, metrics release to convert metric to model. So the conversion rate metric was not released. So that's confusing. Um, and if you if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the discussion. All right. I got this from a long time ago. Yeah, I didn't realize this hadn't been released. Are you sure it wasn't released? Because it looks like it was released. It looks like it was released on in the in the spring 
Well, so as so as part of the continuous contribution, it, it made its way to the website. But yeah. when we when we went into the metrics review period, okay. uh, it became a. Uh, and this this also I think shortly after this, there was also a is there a Google Summer of Code uh, project to convert this into a model? Yeah. So it just it didn't make sense to release it as a metric with all of that going on. Okay. I didn't follow all of that. That didn't really come up in the work. Maybe it came up in a meeting I wasn't at. Okay, so this this is no this was released in the Yeah, I didn't I didn't see anywhere where it was like oh you you noted here sixteen days ago it was you were pulling it out of release. Um, okay, and I will and I will say this one of the one of the have, things that I've observed in so I would have objected to overruling a working group releasing a metric to be honest with you. I, I would have that I don't like the idea of people coming in and like just changing what we've done. I I don't disagree that it makes more sense as a model, but um, I don't think oh, it needed okay. to be pulled out as a metric. I'm I'm a part of the working group as well, so I oh yeah, yeah. I didn't really see it as overruling a working group. Okay, well, uh, yeah, that's fair. That's uh, fair. And we, I mean, we, there was a comment to you that you didn't respond to. Well, yeah. Oops. Where was that? Yeah. I mean, so is this? I mean, I would just close this issue if um, if. Uh, move it to the move it to the metrics model working group then I mean because if it's not an issue for us if it's going to be in the metrics models working group and that is where it's gotten more airtime recently so one of the discussion was Although it's already been translated the uh, metric was translated not yeah. the, it was like uh, in the release but after review period it got decided to move to the model so one of the discussion was uh, in different groups was like if you are developing a model you can develop the model in the working group and then uh, release it in the metric model so this is how we want to work on this in future or we just move it to the metric model and work it over there I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm just absorbing. It's like this. I am fine. I mean, I don't. I think it's being worked on in the metrics model working group. So at this point, it's like no longer a metric. So maybe ours. just move this issue to the model working group rather than closing it and keep it there so that they can visit it. Now you're asking me to do some advanced stuff here. Um, Transfer issue. There we go. Choose the repository. Metric model. Yeah, just type the word metric. That'd probably be faster. Model, maybe. There we go. Yep. Boom. No longer our problem. <laughs> There we go. No, not our problem. So I do. Uh, I I've brought this up on a couple of occasions, and it it doesn't seem to be something that uh, anyone wants to talk about. Okay. Let's. All right. Um, well, well, we've got time, Kevin. Let's talk about the hard stuff. Uh, but it's but it's related to this issue that we let's just talk had. about the Reds record. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And that is across across the working groups, there is very little uh, consensus on what a metric is, what a model is, and what a focus area is. So it's all very confusing because going going across these working groups, uh, sometimes sometimes a focus area looks more like a model, sometimes a model 
or sometimes a metric looks lo more like a model. Uh, sometimes a model looks more like a focus area. So there's there's very little consensus on what those are or or definition of what those things are. I think um, this is a valid. I think this is a valid point, Kevin. Definitions of metric focus area and metrics model. Um, and as Vinod was saying, I think it's completely okay for working groups to work on models if they want. Uh, but I do think we need to be we need to be clear on whether it's a model or a metric, uh, and especially with some of our older metrics. Well, and we've uh, been we've been defining what a model is honestly over the last three yeah. or four months. So, so, um, but I think the majority of the metrics in value, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, are probably models. Yeah. I think there's only one or two that could maybe <laughs> could maybe stay as a metric. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I'm, my definition of a metric is it's discreetly measurable, like an instrument reading, like it's it's like temperature or humidity or um, blood alcohol content. <laughs> um, Something that's discreetly measurable on its own. That's how I think of a metric. I I agree with that definition. And then a, a model to me is multiple discreetly measurable metrics, uh, and kind of examining the uh, perhaps the relationship between those metrics. So focus area. What is a focus area? To me, a focus area are metrics developed around a common collection of discrete data. Yes, that could be. Yeah, so it, it could be a it could be a context that's helpful. It could be a uh, I think it could even be a, a persona that might use them. Although I, I don't know if we want to get into that. Well, I mean, like I think in 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 evolution issues, code changes. Um, those are the two I can think of. I think there's two more, but I don't know them off the top of my head. Somebody want to tell me the others? Oh, sorry, I'm not on. Code development activity, code development efficiency, code development process quality, uh, community growth, and issue resolution. So, like, okay, so I like issue resolution. I sort of buy that. Um, efficiency and process quality almost okay. seem like they would be better models. Well, there, so code development efficiency and what was the other one? And process code development quality. process quality. Those are pretty classic software engineering measurements. Now, are they, do they, are they derived from a singular piece of data? Probably not. Like um, when I'm talking about code development efficiency, um, yeah, like I wouldn't say like, um, I don't know. Yeah, code development efficiency, maybe, okay, I tried to I tried to use cut and paste, but it wouldn't let me try again. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to say code development efficiency and code development, was it process quality? Yeah. And then if you if you look at if you look at the metrics that are in them, 
I think they could just as easily exist within the code development activity focus area. Yeah. Or is it is it called code development activity now? Uh, that's what the that's okay. what it says on the website. Cool. Um, I, I they've changed so much over time. I yeah, it's code development activity, code development efficiency, code development process quality, community growth, and issue resolution. I mean, I. I I certainly like I would have like let's just want to just look at one like co development efficiency let's just look at this focus area. Change request acceptance ratio change requests accepted declined these last okay I mean is that efficiency or is that, that just under. I, don't know, I, can, I guess I can see like as I look at the names of these metrics I can see how the. You know, code development efficiency is a focus area that it could be distinct from the focus area of code development activity. However, so, uh, it, it also makes it harder for so it makes it harder for people to navigate when we bucket them like that too. Because really the data is going to come from well the data comes from a different place than commits. So it is but, different data. But like code development efficiency also feels like a model too. Where you want to measure an efficiency of development activity and have metrics around those. So, so, but you, so if to build a model though, you need metrics, right? Like yes. models are constructed from metrics. Yep. Um, and I think that's an important thing to keep in mind. So I'm still confused in the different like differentiating focus area and model, which is it's still confusing to me. I'm clear with the metric and what a model is, but like when I see focus area and metric model together, I'm confused. I'm unable to differentiate them. I think I think that um, we, we can look I at some other working so groups and see how they I understand. Do. I mean, they do it the same way. I mean, I think only, uh, I don't know where, I mean, we built, the ones that we built in the metrics models working group, you could actually put as, they're almost evolution models. Uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, yeah. You know, they, they really are evolution models. Yeah. So we have this cross, and, and one of the principles that we stated early on in the metric model work, which I don't know if it stands, is that um, metrics models could be developed by that working group, but they could also be developed by the other working groups. And so I think as we go through this review process, we kind of need to have a, a way of way to how do we think about the decision to convert something to a metric model? Like I think like in the case of the one issue that I kicked over the metric model working group, it makes sense because there's been a lot of discussion about that particular model over the last two months. And so there's a lot of activity in that working group around that metric that we had released and is now a model so but in the case of these others like if we kick 12 metrics over to the metric model working group for example i don't think that's the best plan no i think the, the if if the recommendation is that the metric is converted into a into a model i would i would recommend that the working group do it yeah uh, but but once again these these uh, this the review process that we're going through. I believe it's it is actually a recommendation, so the working group doesn't have to do it. Uh, is my understanding. Uh, but in re in regards to the uh, the the hierarchy of focus area model metrics, uh, to me they should have different levels of abstraction. With the the metric is at the bottom and it's looking at a very specific thing. And the model is a little more abstract, and then the focus area is even more abstract. So, uh, and at that at so that, that focus area, it's more kind of an abstract context rather than uh, than a a measurable model. And so that's the, why the that's why the efficiency one and the process quality one don't really sit for me because the 
So it when feels I look like at, we're measuring something, when I look at my definition of focus area, which is metrics developed around a common set of discrete data, mm -hmm. the center holds on our current focus areas because right. pull request data all comes from a common set of APIs on any platform, GitHub, GitLab, whatever. Um, so code development efficiency is really about change request, incorporation, pace, and acceptance, declination, ratios, how long it takes. And co-development process quality um, change request reviews argue okay, I think those are the same those are the these are both these would be the same so these this doesn't follow my definition exactly because process quality and efficiency both are, are derived from the same set of data or the same APIs so although you would, of course, access access them a little bit differently. Um, it's it's not, yeah. As I look back on this, like change requests, does that belong in process quality or efficiency, or should that be under code development activity? Um, and by the way, just to reiterate, this is not a this is not a critique of evolution. No, no. But this is it, a like across the board. Do we have some yeah. some general? Uh, well, and we all of the be, working groups working together, right? Yeah. Are we doing it? Are we doing it the same way? I don't think so. I think like if, I think the definition that I provide for a focus area might be different than it would be employed by other working groups, but I'm not sure it is. Like well, I think the, uh, DEI is very is very contextual, right? Mm -hmm. So it's. They, I think the way they def, they define it is it's very uh, context, right? So of, events is uh, is a focus area, right? Or I'm just opening up their focus areas to see. It is, it is a focus area, but also a model. So there you go. Uh, so leadership, project, and community recognition of good work, event diversity. So this is a metrics model right here. Communication inclusivity. I see. Yeah, I, yeah, see. I would. Yeah, I would say that's a that's definitely a metrics model. I mean, these are the discrete metrics. I mean, it's it's um. So yeah. So the one example would be this looks to me like a metrics model. Yeah. Um, that is why I'm constantly saying I'm unable to distinguish between focus area and model. These two. And then when we yeah yeah and then when we get into common common is people place time and uh, what space or something like that who who what when where yeah does it matter if the um, the metrics are all in like one centralized uh, place. For instance, like I think a lot, some of the metrics models pull metrics from different working groups to uh -huh. make a to make the picture. But like the DEI badging, for instance, it's all right here. So does that mean that it's the focus area instead of a, a metrics model? Like, is that the di differentiator? Is where the metrics model pulls from different working groups and different points of view perspectives, as opposed to just lumping like things together. So the I think that's a good point. The focus areas are our pre use of the metric attempt to classify. And the metrics models are what do people actually want to look at? Yep. Um, that makes more sense. Um, and, you know, we could we could say the same about code. I mean, um, I'm just going to say here it is. Might it be, and one question I have is um, might it be easier to navigate all of our metrics if we had them less deeply nested? Yes, and, and I think that's the 
that's one of the the main points that I'm trying to bring up from this. Uh, so when we when we get all of these metrics together in the uh, in the review document, or when we when we view them all on the same web page, there's very little there's very little understanding of what the these organization of metrics mean, right? Uh, so yes, less deeply nested focus areas would be ideal uh, because that that would remove the I think that removes the confusion about a metrics model right so yeah I mean I would I mean I'm hearing there's confusion about this and I'm and as I go through this conversation I'm experiencing some confusion myself and so I can imagine as a newcomer that this could be pretty, it's a lot of levels, a lot of layers to the onion. And, and do we yeah. need all those layers on the onion? Well, so I, in, in fairness, the models didn't exist prior. So, no, right, right. so no, the, the role yeah. of the focus area was kind of an informal model, if you right. will, right? Right, right. Yeah, I mean, it. it um, they, for example, I don't know anyone that would like if I look at co development efficiency, I don't think like these are these are complex analyses. Like, I'm not sure. I guess duration, declined, accepted ratio, these are all discrete metrics. I would argue ratio is. I mean, these are not what if, difficult to derive from. Well, what from, if the focus area was change requests and issues and um, community growth? Um, to admit, I mean, I think I would like, I would be fine getting rid of all this code development activity stuff because we're talking about commits there's nothing else that we ever call them and they and they um, exist within the context of a of a change request right or well they don't always they don't always and they can be they can be squashed in the course of doing a change request um so what a commit is can be fluid as it goes goes through a cycle I'm just I'm just throwing that out there. I'm not saying that's the ideal uh, focus area naming convention, or but just yeah. just like a different way of thinking about it, it rather than rather than thinking about it as uh, activity, think about it more as a a context or a space, which would be kind of similar to the way common does, yeah. it, for example. Or and I and I think it would be kind of similar to the way DEI does it as well, right? Where you set the like we're talking about metrics that are related to change requests within this focus area we're talking about I mean, metrics that are related to events in this focus area so i would i would bet that our, you know we'd have code development and issue management like maybe as two key focus areas in evolution and i would say um community i don't know if it's i don't know what's under community growth Okay, so right now conversion rate still there, inactive contributors, new contributors. So this is really about contributors. Yeah. Community growth is really about the contributors of of so. So if um, we were to change it to, we could actually change it to match Commons focus area. Those, I mean, the entities that we're dealing with are commits, issues, pull re change requests, and um, contributors. That's like all the big objects in evolution, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, to think, of, to think of it that way, right? The, the big objects, we just, the focus areas mm -hmm. are the big objects. Commits, issues, change. Requests, people. I mean, I guess we just call them contributors, technically. Uh, and, what is the 
what is what is common column mm -hmm. I, i've i've been interested to know what would happen if we used similar naming conventions across working groups for the focus areas contributions people place and time so so it could be people yeah yeah i mean contributions yeah so i don't i don't think we need to do the contributions people place and time i no, think the, the big objects that you've mentioned are, are fine uh, but if but if people is one of them i think it would be an op it would be an opportunity to use people as the fourth focus area here as well yeah it's a good question so if, yeah, I mean this. I don't know. Do do we? We're out, we're basically out of time. But I I, and I don't know what's on the agenda at eleven this morning, because it's a first Tuesday meeting, which have historically been our bigger community meetings. Yeah, we don't do that anymore. Okay. <laughs> we don't do the well. We do the working group updates like one a week, so we don't have that giant meeting first of yeah. all anymore. But um. There is some, there are some things on the agenda. Feel free to add it though. Um, and if we don't get time to talk about it, we can, we can talk about it next time for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, insert sort of book note, bookmark, bookmark, copy. All right. I'll just copy that bookmark into the big meeting notes and we can get to it if we get to it. Okay, doke. And thank you for uh, this has been a good discussion, actually. So thank, thank you for you. having it because I, uh, I've been a little frustrated with this for a while. It's like no one wants to talk about it. Uh, and I, th I think uh, I get that. And I, I'm glad we talked about it because the point that you're making is more clear to me after the discussion. So thank you, Kevin. Thanks, everybody. Talk with you all in 10 minutes or so. See ya. Yeah.